Hi, so my name's Shannon um, and this is my degree show Space. Um, I'm currently in here making paper um, and I'll show you a little bit of the process. Um, so I have paper pulps in here. Um, this paper pulp is made from recycled book paper and um, I have blended it up this morning um, in the blender. Um, so I've soaked the paper pulp, um, blended it up and put it into these vats. Um, and I will get my deco and I'll make a sheet of paper for you. Um, so I'll do it in here. So I'll mix up the paper nice and well. And pop the deco and mould into the water. And I'll give it a shake to make the sheet nice and even. And then whilst it's drying, I'll pop it up here. We're going to transfer the sheet of paper to dry um, onto these cloths here. So once it's drained enough, um, I'll lift off the frame. And you can see the sort of sheet of papers formed on the deco there. So then I'll press it onto the fabric. And use a sponge just to make sure it all comes off nicely. And I'll lift the decal off. And that's your sheet of paper formed there. This sheet will get hung up to dry and will turn into these sorts of sheets up here, um, ready to draw, paint, all that stuff. <laughs> um, so that's the paper making process, um, basics. And once you know the basics, you can go ahead and add different additives, dyes, things like that. It's all about experimentation, um, trial and error. Um, yeah. I just um, really enjoy the paper making process. Um, it's quite a therapeutic process for me. So I wanted to sort of explore that um, and I made the Hollander beater here, which is another way of making um, the paper pulp. Um, it sort of um, breaks down the fibres. Um, it keeps them longer than what they do in the um, blender and they typically um, have a motor and they run with the motor kind of continuously for about um, three to four hours to make the pulp. Um, but this one I made with a manual handle. Um, so you just turn the handle um, and it processes the pulp and it breaks it all down. But with the manual handle, it'll take a lot longer. Um, so it's about the process and the work and the repetitive motion um, that goes into it. Um, it's a lot to do with um, the process. It takes me a lot longer to sort of process um, things than um, typical people um, so it's a good representation of, of um, the length of time um, it takes um, to get to a sort of finished um, product. You can use loads of different materials um, the material in here is um, cotton linters so it's nice kind of um, cotton fibres um, any recycled paper um, you can use things like um, I'm looking into using sort of tea bags um, you can use food waste, you can use sort of vegetable peels and that sort of thing. Um, so once you've got the basics, it's all about that exploration of, of the limits of the paper making and what you can use and what works and um, the different kind of forms that they take, um, the different textures that that can create, um, the touch and even the smell of different papers and things. I came into Grace um, kind of having made a lot of prints, um, done a lot of woodcuts and etchings um, and I think I learned um, paper making for the first time in second year I believe um, just at a sort of workshop it was just sort of the pulp um, stage um, and sort of kind of learning how it's done um, so that was about second year I think I kind of started to learn um, about paper and then sort of kind of really picked it up in third year um, where I made a lot of pieces with books and paper. I'm using this space um, at the minute and once the degree show's done, um, 
it'll just be sort of, um, I, I think I've got a few opportunities sort of um, lined up, but I'm not too sure exactly what's going to um, come of them. But there's kind of interest for workshops and things and kind of teach other people how to do it and also experiment myself even further um, into the process.